Hi everyone, you alright? I'm going to make a cauliflower and chickpea curry today. I'm going to make it this morning for tonight. It's a really good reheater. So I'll show you what you need. Get all the stuff out. Now you need one of these. It's like a blender. It's a little blender. I'm always telling you to get one. So get one of those out. So into it you want to put a chopped onion, a couple of cloves of garlic and a thumb sized piece of ginger. Put a couple of tablespoons of oil in whiz it up and this is the consistency you've got it's almost paste put that in the frying pan touch more oil and fry that up until it's quite golden so while your onion mixture is frying off just peel a cauliflower and break it into florets quite small ones onions are nicely sweating away now I've had a lot of people saying how do you cook rice so with this I'm going to do yellow rice so I'll show you how to do that step by step so you need about a tablespoon of butter in a pan. Weigh out 12 ounces of basmati rice. Now you have to wait, because I'm guaranteeing your success here. There, 12 ounces. Can you believe this? I've split the bloody packet, there's rice everywhere. So put your butter over a heat. One teaspoon of turmeric. Add your rice. You want to coat it and just cook that like that for about a minute. Just dry. Now it has to be cold water. Once it's boiling, put a lid on. Now don't touch that for 10 minutes. Turn the heat down to a simmer. Leave it for 10 minutes. Look at the clock, 10 minutes. Now back to your curry. Your onions are nicely brown look. Now we're gonna add some spices. Just pop in a tablespoon of Madras curry powder. I'm using this Madras curry powder. If you have only got normal curry powder, just use that, it's absolutely fine. A teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of mustard seeds. Just cook them out for a couple of minutes. Now, I just wanted to say it is worth buying a couple of spices each time you go shopping because then you've got them. They're not expensive, most of them are less than a pound jar. Um, and they last for ages, just keep them in your cupboard and they soon mount up and then once you look at a recipe, you find that you've got what you need. It's already in the cupboard, so it is worth buying just one or two with each shop. Add your cauliflower, get it all nicely coated. I'm going to put in some spinach. Now, I use frozen spinach and it comes in cubes like this. Much better than fresh spinach. Fresh spinach, you need the full bag. It's overflowing, it's all over the place and it wilts down to nothing. All that's being done for you when you buy it frozen. So we're going to put about six cubes in. I forgot to put the cumin in, it's just a couple of teaspoons. I'll put the recipe on at the end. Now the rice has had 10 minutes. Knock it off and leave it alone. Leave the lid on, just leave it. Drain your chickpeas, they go in. A tin of coconut milk. Half a tin of water. And a chicken cube or a stock pot. If you're keeping it vegetarian, use a vegetarian cube. I think chicken's got more flavour, so I use chicken but you use what you want. We're just gonna bring that to a simmer and literally just cook it until your cauliflower's cooked. We'll have a look at your rice. I'll just get a spoon. It's hard with one hand. There. See how fluffy that rice is? Perfect, every time, perfect. is all ready now the sauce has thickened up nicely if you think it gets too thick just pop some water in but I can put a fork through the cauliflower so it's nice and ready how nice does that look whether you're a vegetarian or not you'd be happy with that put in front of you I would anyway Let's have a taste. Really good. You'd be happy with that in any restaurant. That's lovely. Don't be scared of Madras. It isn't hot. That's not hot. It's just tasty. It's lovely. Cook the cauliflower until it's cooked to the way you like it. I don't like bite to my veg. I like it soft. So I've cooked my cauliflower soft. If you like a bite, cook it with a bite. But you won't be sorry you made that, it's beautiful. The rice is fluffy, perfect. 
this reheats a treat so give it a go like it and share it because if you've got this far if you're listening to me now and you haven't even liked it that's rude don't forget to like and share see you soon bye bye